Bokertov. Good morning. It is wonderful to be uh, here again on our morning segment just before uh, 8.30 in the morning as we have an opportunity to come together. Please uh, feel free to drop a, a greeting in the chat. It gives us a chance to see that we're in fact here and uh, to connect with one another as we have the privilege of welcoming another wonderful new day. And uh, I hope it'll feel like a good day to you. My light is actually a little too high, so I'm morning, there we go. I want the glare to get in the way of our time together, but it's time to say Boker Tov. Uh, Good morning and welcome to this daily opportunity for us to connect, reflect, and remember. Thanks to Temple Sinai Congregation of Toronto. It's wonderful to have uh, all of those who've regularly started to join us in the morning be together, as well as any who might have a yurt site or be saying Kaddish and to be with us. And all of those who just want to start the day in a settled, grounded, thoughtful kind of way. And I really appreciate the opportunity um, to do that as well. Wow, it's, it's amazing to think that today is September 1st uh, and that uh, we started saying Booker Tov to one another in the second week of March. Um, and here we are, uh, almost six months uh, into our time together. Um, but uh, I find that uh, the rhythm that we've developed has really helped me have a good start to the day. And I hope that's true for you as well. And so uh, this morning, let's join together in some of our morning prayers, beginning with the translation of Ashel Yatzel. Blessed eternal God, creator of the universe, you have fashioned our bodies with wisdom, creating within us a finely balanced network. To stand before you in prayer is itself a fragile miracle. Eternal God, we praise you as the healer of body and spirit. The soul that you have given me, O oh God, is a pure one. You have created and formed it, breathed it into me, and within me you sustain it. So long as my soul is within me, I will give thanks to you, eternal my God and God of all creation, God of my ancestors, sovereign of all souls. We praise you, eternal God, in whose hand is the power of all life and the spirit of all flesh. Let's join together in the Hebrew of the prayer for Torah study, but feel free to uh, take a moment with the translation or the comment as well. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kidshanu B'Mitzvotav V'Tzivanu L'Asok B'Divrei Torah V'Arev Na Adonai Eloheinu Et Divrei Toratcha B'Finu V'Fiyamcha B'Et Yisrael V'Niyah Anachnu V'Tzetzeinu V'Tzetzei Amcha B'Et Yisrael Kulanu Yodei Shemecha V'Lomdei Toratcha Lishma Baruch atah Adonai Eternal God, we praise you as the teacher of Torah to the people of Israel. This morning, I would like us uh, to include a, a psalm in our prayers this morning, a psalm of protection. It being September 1st means uh, that we're getting very close to the beginning of school for uh, children around the world, but especially the children here uh, in Ontario, in Toronto, our children. Um, and Psalm 121, a psalm of journeys, is also a psalm of safety and, and protection. This is a, a challenging time, um, and for parents, for children, for teachers, um, it is a fraught or, or really concerning time. Uh, and so today, as we enter September on the, on the Canadian, on the public calendar, uh, I want to recite that psalm, uh, praying uh, that this opening can have uh, more safety than I'm worried it will uh, with the preparations I've seen that, uh, that uh, all of these children and teachers and parents and families will be watched over. Uh, please join with me in Bo Shamal in the Hebrew on the left side. Bo Shamal Vaya Olam Bauchu, Bauch Osev Leshit, Bauch Omer Veoseb, Bauch Gozer Um Kayem, Bauch Moachem Al Haaretz, Bauch Moachem Al Habriot. Lord, 
יחיד חי העולמים, מלך משובח ומפואר עד עד שמו הגדול. ברוך אתה, אדוני, מלך מולל ותשפחות. And here is Psalm 121, Shir Lema'alot, a song of journeys, a song of ascents. Please feel free to join with me. I will look only upward past the mountains, for my help comes from the one beyond. My help comes from the eternal maker of heaven and earth. Ever alert, your guardian will never allow your foot to stumble. The guardian of Israel never rests, never sleeps. The eternal will watch over you as a shadow cast by your right hand. You will not be overcome by the sun nor abandoned by the moon. The eternal will guard you from all evil, watching over you. The eternal will guard you as you set out and as you return from this very moment until the end of time. Well, as we think about children learning, we turn to the words of the Shema, which speaks very directly about that Vishinan Tam Levanecha. The fifth line of Hebrew starts with those words about repeating words over to our children, right? That we not only need to repeat over words of learning, but words of security and safety, words that say, remind our children that they are themselves uh, agent of, agents of protection and safety and doing what's right and making decisions that make them feel safe for themselves. Um, and that that's not something we need to say once. Uh, it is like Torah, something that we need to repeat uh, to remind them of their ability to do for themselves as well as to have adults do for them. We all could use that additional sense of resilience as today we turn together to the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kavod Malchuto Olam Va'ed Ve'ahavta Et Adonai Elohecha בכל רבך ובכל נפשך ובכל מרדך. והיו הדברים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך היום על לבביך, ושיננתם לבניך ודיברת בם, ושבתך בביתך, ובלכתך בדרך, ובשוך בך ובקומך, וקשרתם לאות על ידיך, היו לתותפות בין עיניך, וכתבתם על מזוזות ביתך ובשעריך. ויאמר אדוני אל משה לאמור, דבר אל בני ישראל ואמרת עליהם, ועשו להם ציצית על כנפי בגדיהם לדורותם, ונתנו על ציצית הכנף בתיר תכלת, והיה לכם לציצית וראיתם אותו, וזכרתם את כל מצוות אדוני ועשיתם אותם, ולא תתורו אחרי לבבכם ואחרי עיניכם, אשר אתם זונים אחריהם. למען תזכרו ועשיתם את כל מצוותי, ואיתם קדושים לאלוהיכם. אני אדוני אלוהיכם, אשר הוצאתי אתכם מארץ מצרים, להיות לכם לאלוהים. אני אדוני אלוהיכם. אדוני אלוהיכם. אמת. honest with those who matter in our lives uh, around us so that uh, we can find a way to live a life that is uh, just and is loving, but that is truthful all at the same time. Uh, and really the uh, challenge of doing that uh, is embodied in certain ways in our midot, in our characteristics that we're focusing on from Rabbi Namanacha Mendel of Satanoth, Menachem Mendel Levine in his work, Cheshbon HaNefesh, The Accounting of the Soul. And here, is our, here are our two characteristics today, the second of which I want to talk about in more length this morning. But recite these reminders with me, if you wish. Equilibrium. Rise above small events, whether good or bad, that are not worth throwing off your spiritual equilibrium. Determination. Charitzut. In all matters, begin by calmly and coolly thinking things through. Once you have decided, get up and do it, and don't delay. As I was rereading uh, Rob Levine's full discussion of the idea of determination, I noticed, like in this brief summary that he's created for us to help remember, that determination, that chalitzut, 
uh, to be chavutz, to be uh, ground in, to be strong. It doesn't just mean strong, but really uh, determined. Um, is a combination, it's a balance that uh, on the one hand, it takes shikula dat, uh, is uh, literally the weighing of thought, um, that uh, we need to actually take our time to think things through. He points out in his discussion of determination that from the time we are young, the same way that animals throughout their lives, our experiences lead to the formation of instincts and that the first time that we touch the top of the stove and it's hot hopefully we don't burn ourselves but we sense that that is a possibility and therefore we develop that sense of um, reactive and safety and fear um, so that we don't have to think about not touching the stove when we get close our reflexes stop us uh, whether it's from that uh, or other situations where we felt cornered or trapped or endangered, uh, part of our brain causes us to recoil and be safe without even the need to think, but truly in a reflexive manner. And we couldn't exist without those reflexes. However, um, there's something less about living a life of reflex, living a life where we don't um, take a moment to think, you know, we can't get beyond those reflexes that allow us, therefore, to try and experience new things that could bring great calm or meaning or joy to us. And so one danger on one hand is living a life that is merely reactive and reflexive. However, uh, Rabbi Levine also points out that once you make a decision, get up and do it. Um, while we have that animal side, right, that reflective, that physical sensory side of ourselves, we also have that intellectual side of ourselves, which is a great blessing and a benefit that we are able to be thoughtful and rational. On the other hand, we also have the ability, the temptation to analyze and analyze and reanalyze and overanalyze so that rather than actually living, rather than actually making a decision, uh, we pause and we look at another angle and another approach and another difference um, until we find ourselves uh, almost frozen. <laughs> we say, wow, it's time for me to live, um, not time for me merely to consider and analyze. And so this uh, idea of chalitzut, of determination, is about a balance between those two things. Uh, it says on the one thing, let's honor and respect uh, those well ingrained and developed um, concerns, reflexes, even fears, pain, they mean something. And we need to pay attention to those. But paying attention does not mean that we give up our sense of analysis and thought and rely on them. And nor does it mean that we become obsessed with that analysis and thought. That a, a sense of determination is a balance is to take some time, especially when we feel a reaction. If it's not something that puts us in immediate danger, because if it is, then we need to react. Uh, but then we need to take a moment and get used to and make a habit of thinking things through and then making a choice and acting on that choice. This, like most of the lessons that come from Rob Levine, sound like they might be uh, simple or easy, uh, but in fact, they are quite challenging because they take a willingness to learn, to retrain ourselves so that we might live a, a life that is as meaningful, as full, at once as safe and as loving and as thoughtful as possible. Um, all of these different um, aspects of life uh, are truly uh, significant ones, ones that enable us to find our way. Um, and so this morning, as we consider that, I want us to join in our prayer of Lufu'a, our prayer of healing, that uh, for those who might find that they don't have the strength to find their way because they're facing illness and isolation, and I wish them strength, and when we have the opportunity to offer them some of ours by being in touch with them, um, and helping them know that uh, they are not alone. 
Um, and uh, we say this prayer also wishing strength and fortitude and determination uh, for all those who are on the front lines and help us continue our lives under these challenging circumstances. For all who need it, let's turn to these words of Hu'ah. <laughs> Uh, we also offer these words of prayer for all those whose names you've added into the chat each day. As we ask, may the one who blessed our ancestors bless and heal all who suffer. May it be the divine will to provide healing and strength. Reveal to us the holiness of life, the wholeness of shalom, and together we say, Amen. And so having a pause to connect and reflect, we now do our take our time to remember recalling the loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we've taken into our hearts with our own. In the period of Shloshim, the past 30 days, we extend our condolences to the families of Edith Grossman, Terry Fern Rossman, Alan Dubras, Anne Shannon, Aaron Pizel. And on your site, on this, the 12th day of Elul, the first day of the month of September, we, um, Honor the legacy and life of Jackie Kaplan, John Cornfield, Howard Sucker, Tori Gould, Ina Gorofsky, Mae Jackson, Paul Kligman, Bessie Schwartz, Shirley Simmons, Gertrude Zimmerman. Zechernam uh, may their memories be a blessing to us. Our griefs and our sympathies are mingled as together we turn to words sanctified by memory, words glorified by hope. Yid Kadal Vid Kadash Meraba, the Alma de Brahil Tevi Amlich Malhute, the Hayekon, the Yomekon, the Haye de Hobe Israel, the Galau is Mankari Vimu Amen. Yehesh me Rabam Varach le Alam Ulame Almaya Yid Barach Vish Tabach Vid Paal Vid Romam Vid Nase, Yid Hadal Vid Ale Vid Halal Shemed de Kucha Borehu. May the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and bring comfort and strength to all who remember. And together we say, Amen. It does seem really difficult to believe as we prepare for our shofar blowing this morning uh, that tomorrow is the last day of Shloshim for our member Edith Grossman. Uh, Edith was a constant presence at Temple, and while she was eventually a person in our Edith, she was also a significant figure. Um, she was the last surviving um, person from the first transport of uh, 999 Jewish uh, young women to Auschwitz. Um, and in fact, uh, in her memory, uh, her Shloshim ends tomorrow, but on the 8th of September, uh, a book was published, uh, mostly with uh, her, her uh, research and her reporting based on her story called 999. And uh, on the night of September the 8th, uh, the author of the book will be doing a, a study uh, for our Temple Sinai community and any of the outside community who want to participate in it um, in honor and memory of Edith. So uh, that information has been going out, but we encourage you to join us uh, as tomorrow will be the last day of Shloshim where we actually recite her name on our daily services. Well, it's uh, now time for us to prepare for the sounding of the shofar, uh, which as you'll see today um, is uh, comes from uh, a synagogue. Uh, I'm going to say a synagogue in Europe and let you see if you can guess when the time comes as part of our great shofar hunt. But in the meantime, as preparation, let's join together in the middle of the three paragraphs of the Hula Chum. <clears throat> Gentle and merciful ruler, source of goodness and guidance, be kind to us and answer us, for we are called by your name. As you do wonders each day, create us again as a sign of your loving loyalty. Gentle and merciful one, look upon us in our time of trouble and answer us. 
for true strength is yours. Help us to sense your mercy and kindness. Strengthen us with your goodness. Source of stability, have compassion upon us, for there is no other God. Eternal one, do not abandon us or be far away, for our life is too short. Save us from sorrow and trouble. You are our source of hope. Do not leave us exposed to shame, eternal our God. Let your face shine upon us. Remember the covenant with our ancestors. Strengthen us for your divine purpose. See our difficulties and hear our prayer, for you hear the prayers of all. Gentle and merciful God, have mercy upon your creation, for none is like you. You are both loving and just. Patient and merciful God, help us to recreate ourselves. Source of life, do not abandon us. Fashioner of all, do not forget us. For you, God, are the source of kindness and mercy. Avinu malkinu chonenu vanenu kishimcha hagadol nikha alenu. And uh, now uh, let us, uh, in fact, share this sounding of the shofar. One moment, I missed a setting. Sorry, I have to start over. Almost had the silent sounding of the shofar. So let's do this again. I knew I would eventually do this, but let's actually have the sounding of the shofar, not the almost sounding of the shofar. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we will be ready. Tekia Excellent. Well, you share Koach to uh, uh, to Fern uh, as well as to Lance for all of their support during this time and for the show for blowing today in a, a certain synagogue. I think they know, but let's see if we know as well. I want to wish all of you a, a wonderful and uh, meaningful day. Uh, wishing you all the best. Uh, a day of determination, a day of balance. Make it a good one. Bokir Tov. <laughs>